Hello, in this video I will make a simple form that other people can send a message to my email address. The result will look like this. This is a basic form with simple validation that all of these fields can't be empty and the email should be a valid one. So if I leave empty fields and click send message, it will return an error. Like please fill in all the fields. And if I filled in all information correctly as it's supposed to be, it will send me an email. So it informs that the form submitted and let's go to email and, and we see that it already sent a message with the name and the message content and if I click reply it takes the sender's name and email as a reply address so let's start from the beginning in this project I use cloud 9 service I create a new workspace from here and workspace name let's call it ijax form and description a simple one a template i will choose php template and create a workspace it will take some time to generate the workspace for us so i will come back when it is ready so this is our working space we have hello world.php is the default file by cloud9. If I click the run project, there will be a link. If you go to this link, then we can see the live version of the website. Hello world and it's a hello world from cloud9 which is stated in the hello world.php file but we don't like to type hello world every time so let's change this file I am rather lazy to style it from the beginning, so I will take bootstrap form style and let's go to bootstrap, get bootstrap.com CSS and I come to form. I like, I like this form, so I just copy it and place it in the section. Of course we don't need all of them. But let's see and take off what we don't need. And of course, we have to include in the head section a link to the CSS bootstrap. I will take a CDN just to. So let's take this link and and now if we go to the live version and press refresh oh I forget it I forgot about this yeah, we can see that it is not so nicely looking.
So it is taking six column equal to half of the page, half of the container, and it is offset two. That means it doesn't it is not placed right in the left, but it moves a little bit to the to the right. If you want to see how offset work, you can change the value. And now it will move a little bit to the left. To the right, yeah. And I make the form might be the class well. This is also a bootstrap class. So it is placing into a well, as I say. But let's see our form. We only need the email and name and maybe message. We don't need remember me or sign in. So I will take the remember me away. And the button, let's say it's Okay. Now what we are doing is to replace the information here. I would like the name to go first and then email and then message. And we also need a message area. Let's copy this and paste it as a new one. Oops, this might be too big. Maybe I forgot something. And yes, I forgot the class from control also. Okay, let's save it and come back to the live version. Now it looks better.